Hi, I'm Chris Hansen with E1 Solutions, one of the senior technical consultants we have. And today we're going to be looking at enabling the error logs inside of Smart Connect and processing the source data that happens to fail in a map. So a couple of our error logging options, uh, definitely not all of them. Um, it's just what we have time for one of our sessions and we'll cover the remaining ones in the next video that we do. So in order to show off our error logging options, I'm just going to use one of our existing maps we have, the 424 customers and I've set it up so that it fails with an error message that we'll have to either record or go ahead and, and fix up to get it to integrate. So just first off, one place that we do record errors in Smart Connect, even if you haven't turned anything on, is in our event viewer. So if I open up the event viewer, there should be a Smart Connect log that's listed under the application and service log section that should have any error message that you encounter in our interface. So whether you hit that while you're running a Smart Connect map, or if you hit it while you're just navigating through the windows, it should have additional details in here. Um, in the case of a map run, it should be the exact same errors that you encounter if you stayed in that map progress window and opened them up one by one. Um, so you can see some of my latest errors are listed in here. You can go ahead and view them at any time if you missed like a scheduled map run or somebody else wanted you to see what was wrong with their map and had to look for the error message. In addition to that, we can turn on a few different error, log error logging options within our map. So if I open up my customer's map, anything you want to enable is going to be under that options tab on here. So we can go ahead and enable either the use log section or the debug section on here. Um, I'll talk about the debug section in another video that we're going to do, um, just because it probably deserves its own section with the amount of stuff that it does. So when we check the use log section, it's going to give us the ability to log the errors, log successes, log source data or log XML on here. The top two, when we mark them, are going to log the data to a pair of tracing tables that we have in our Smart Connect database. So those tables are called trace header and trace line and it's going to put the info of the map and every record that it sends through in there based on what we've checked here. So if we check them both, it will record both records that su succeed and records that fail. If we check one or the other, you'll just get those entries in there. The log error source data option is going to log the data that's failed when the map has been running. So any record that fails on the map run, all the relevant rows of data are going to be recorded when we go ahead and check this option. So we can go ahead and rerun the map on that data later. Um, and I'll go ahead and show you guys that as well. The final option, log XML, that just runs the data that we normally send through to eConnect. It will also dump it out to file. Um, it does the same thing as changing the destination of your map to gp-file, but it lets you go ahead and do them both at the same time. Um, I'll leave that one disabled for this particular run. So when I run this map, I do expect to get a failure count on here. So I had two records, both of them happened to fail. So I can either view the error message right here, I can go to the event viewer to view them, or I can look at one of those two spots that I enabled on there. So I can go into SQL here. So I can go to my Smart Connect database inside of SQL and expand the um, view section of that and it's going to show me my Smart Connect underscore trace view. That's the view we've already created based off the trace header and the trace lines table. And when I expand it out, I cleared it out before this map run. So we see our one map that we ran in there. It's got each of the records that happened to fail along with the error message. If I were to copy that out, I'd get the full thing out of there. Um, so it's got a bunch of other detail in there about the record count for the map, the runtime, key fields on each record that you can go ahead and query out from this. So you can either go ahead and pull from this view directly in your report, you can make a smart list off of it, anything that you want to do to have your permanent location of those um, either failed or successful map runs that went through. The other option that I did show was the log error source data. If you've got that checked, we can go up to the process errors window here open up the map lookup and then we can go ahead and find the specific map that we just logged. Um, so this is the only entry for my 424 customers. Um, if you have multiple runs of the map and it fails, you'll end up with different run numbers on each of them until you either open them up and delete them or we go ahead and just view them from there. So I've got two different um, tenants or companies. One's going to TWO, one's going over to my GP data company. So I can go ahead and fix each of these um, one at a time if I want to. So if I hover over the error message on here, again it gives me the full error message on what went wrong, and I can go ahead and modify the data as needed um, to get that to run in. So I can go ahead and change my customer ID, 
make sure it's a brand new one and now I can rerun the map from here and it's only going to run the map on the data that's present in that window so any changes that you made to it also get sent through so to finish this off I'd go back through and do it for my other company adjust the data and run it if it fails all it would do is generate another error log run where I could go ahead and process that until it goes through or I delete it saying I don't want to import it so I hope those couple of tips helped you guys with the error reporting and handling and we'll take a look at like the debug viewer and generating emails when the map fails in a subsequent video article. Thanks for your time.